All right, in case you aren't familiar with this fellow, this is Dr. Michael Greger, or Greger, I guess. Uh, he is a, you know, a vegan, <laughs> plant-based advocate. He runs this, uh, this organization called NutritionFacts.org. Uh, and here's the latest sort of nonsense that he is espousing. He's basically saying that all people over 50 years of age need to be on a B12 supplement because many people have low B12 status, right? And this is particularly true in people on plant-based diets and, and, and particularly, especially true for vegans. Um, the problem with that is the reason is it doesn't have anything to do with how old you are or anything like that. It is due to an absolute dearth of adequate B12 sources in the diet. And that particularly is things like red meat. Uh, we have been told to eat just a minuscule amount of red meat, even though we're supposedly eating lots and lots of red meat, this is what we hear in the United States. The reality is when it comes to beef consumption, the average American consumes slightly more than two ounces of beef per day, right? It is no wonder we see so much B12 deficiencies and those numbers often go down as people get older, as they get told by their doctors repeatedly, cut back on red meat, cut back on red meat. What does my, what does my B12 look, level look like? Well, I'm someone who eats plenty of red meat. I eat three, sometimes four pounds of a day, and I do that pretty much every day. My B12 levels are above the top of the normal range. You know, 1,280 something, top, top of the range is 1,100. I am completely B12 replete. And it's important. B12 is a very important vitamin to have. I mean, without it, you have all kinds of problems associated, the least of which are brain problems, right? So this is what we see. We are being told to eat a nutritionally deficient diet and then make up, make up for it with, you know, with supplements, right? Think about it on, on, a, on, on a basic form. If your basic diet cannot give you the adequate nutrition that you need, then that diet is absolutely wrong, right? We should not need to have massive supplementation on a population-wide scale in order to just reach nutritional adequacy, right? So whether you're carnivore or not, you should be eating plenty of red meat in particular. It is so rich in so many important nutrients. You know, this is the other thing uh, many people don't realize. You know, we hear about this stuff about phytonutrients. You gotta get your phytonutrients, eat lots of plants. Well, it turns out beef is full of quote unquote phytonutrients as well as outlined in this paper, this great paper by uh, Stefan Van Vliet. Uh, so anyway, this is part of, you know, and, and I want to point you guys to an interview that was recently done uh, with Tucker Carlson and, and a guy named Callie Means. Now, Callie, I, I've interviewed myself before. Callie is a former uh, lobbyist for both the pharmaceutical industry and Coca-Cola. And so he knows what's going on behind the scenes. And what he tells is, is quite disturbing. I mean, it just shows you how uh, awful our healthcare system is our pharmaceutical system is, and our food system is. I mean, it just, it just highlights that completely. And uh, we have to change it. And companies like mine and Rivero and, and others are gonna lead the way. So anyway, you guys, eat more meat, guys. Please do so. <clears throat> Don't fall for this nonsense that everybody needs to supplement because we just, we just for whatever reason, we can't get enough uh, of the proper vitamins with nutrition, particularly when we're told to avoid the foods that are very rich in those vitamins in the first place, which is, again, absolute nonsense. Let me know what you guys think. How's your B12 stuff? Are you guys on carnivore? How's your B12 stats? Have you checked it recently and see, see how it is? I've rarely seen anyone on carnivore outside of some people with uh, things like intrinsic factor, in fact, intrinsic factor deficiency below in B12. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.